Welcome back everyone and join me as in today's video we'll be taking a look at these beautiful green suede chaka boots from Passus. Coming up! How's it going everyone? Uh, another long week has reached its end and we're now in the weekend and that means it's time for another shoe video. As I mentioned in the intro, today we'll be looking at another pair of shoes from Passus Handmade Shoes Budapest and specifically uh, my first personal pair from them, which is this model, the Oliver X in green, olive green suede uh, on the 2000 last. So after my previous video, which you can find in the channel, uh, I was a bit, you know, I was a bit conflicted about the sizing and I also wanted to experience something different for myself to, to give you better accurate advice. So now I'm a proud owner of the Oliver X model, which is on the same last as the previous one, the Tom. So I can give you even more information about the quality of their suede and of course, more perfect fitting advice. The Oliver X is quite a new, new model, you would say, and I think it comes also in some other colors. Uh, but the one that I really liked was uh, this one in green, olive green, dark green suede, which is a bit more unusual and quite an underrated color, in my opinion, especially for more casual shoes like this. And uh, it retails for about, I would say, $900, if I'm, if I'm correct. This is like a 700 euros uh, excluding tax, which is a fair price because this is pretty much uh, another handmade shoe with a, a rather unique aesthetic, as you will see in the close-up. So, I will skip uh, most of the introductions that I've done in the previous video, and we will jump right into it. I will give you a nice quick look, you know, the futures and how everything feels. Uh, then uh, we are going to discuss specifically sizing and some more ways of how to style it. So, shall we? All right, so before we begin, I'm trying out some new angles here. Uh, let's get this out of the way. Uh, first of all, you get a two-year warranty with every Passo Shoes purchase, which is quite bonkers, quite absurd, but always appreciated. They believe in their product, which is nice. And of course, you get uh, two, well, this is just one, uh, shoe bags. Uh, they're quite thin, uh, they, they feel really nice to the touch, and they have this uh, very, you know, recognizable, branded, uh, you know, a shoe bag color with sort of like a turquoise. And that's it. Uh, but you also get a really nice pair of shoes, uh, which I don't have any shoe trees in them right now. So uh, what I'm going to, to do is, well, let's start with what they are. So this is, uh, you would say, a classic pair of uh, chakas. And uh, it does have some uh, unique features. Of course, it has, a, you know, the plain toe here. And of course, it has the, you know, the usual chaka facing here, which actually, you know, moves forward and downward, sorry, towards uh, the sole. Uh, what makes this more unique is, other than the color, is of course that it actually has four eyelets instead of the usual two or three, uh, which is uh, an okay addition. I mean, uh, it, it doesn't show up so much here. It, it usually it looks a bit more like three. And the other unique feature is the shape of the toe. Usually when you have something like this, you either put it on a round or a bit more almondy toe, but then, uh, I've seen this from normal Vilalta before, uh, this one is again on the 2000 last, which is a soft square last, as you can see from multiple angles, and of course the bottom here. And not only that, it gives it a more aggressive look, honestly, uh, for a more casual uh, type of shoe. However, it also has a more chunky, yet it doesn't look that chunky, uh, commando sole, which is also great, especially for the weather and the terrain we have here in Sweden. Mm, so that's about how it is and how it looks. And you can see it here from, you know, multiple perspectives and from the top down how it looks. Uh, so we're going to quickly discuss, uh, you know, all the little details that you can find other, you know, than the aesthetics. Uh, so, of course, the suede, it's, it's really nice quality. It's, uh, you know, you can, you can feel the nap uh, all over, uh, it's, it's quite, the nap is quite short. Uh, so it reminds me of uh, goat suede, uh, I have to yet to verify where it comes from exactly. It has a very nice soft nap, however, 
and uh, it almost feels a little more waxed here at the at the tip. Uh, it's a really nice color as well. It's uh, hard to capture just on camera, but uh, it's a very nice sh shade of uh, green, which is quite underrated, I, I must say. And uh, when it comes to you know the the stitching and all the little details that we discussed on the previous review, uh, I mean everything checks out. Uh, you could argue about certain points aesthetically and design elements, but then again, it's a checkabout. You cannot reinvent the wheel usually. And a nice simple back seam at the back. Uh, also, when it comes to the lining, it's just nice and well trimmed. Uh, everything checks out really. Uh, now, of course, since this is a commander sole, uh, and it, it also has a bit more contrasting weld stitching, uh, so it's a bit more brown than like whitish beige color. I think it makes really nice contrast when you look at it from you know the certain angles like these, and it goes all the way to the back here. Uh, I think it looks good, uh, especially the chunkier sole. I mean. Just look at it. Of course, it's uh, as you can see, it's uh, Vibram, which you know, very nice company, very well respected. And uh, as you can see here, you know, there are some stones and everything because in this review, I tried before, uh, you know, making the video to wear them at least once uh, outside so I can give better, you know, feedback about the fit and how everything is. And I can tell you at least the arch support at the back was really, really good. And that's about it, pretty much. So another unique feature I like very much, and I'm going to discuss during fit, is uh, you can see here, like it's more structured as as always, and as it should be. But on on the shaft, look, it's very very soft and pliable, uh, which is a very very nice feature that I don't see many people do. Uh, I like it very, very much because it's not stiff and hurt my ankle. So if you're a guy that has, you know, bigger ankles, uh, then this might be your saving grace. Also, the laces are much better this time. They're a bit thicker. They, you know, they mess well with the aesthetics of this uh, particular shoe. And uh, there's a really nice tongue as well. And what much to show you inside. Uh, but overall, great shoes, good looking, underrated color very good quality of suede uh, so let's move forward with the more important aspects which is the fit of course and that was it i hope you enjoyed the close-up and i mean there are some really good features that i really like about this specific model and how they handled it uh, and even though it has a bit of a more let's say controversial design because first of all this is a chaka then it also is in suede but you also have a sharper last and a very, you would say, chunkier, more aggressive uh, commando so like on the bottom. It's, it's a very delicate proposition that you can get either pretty, you know, good or really, really wrong. In, in this case, I feel that, especially as a person living in Sweden, which is quite cold and, you know, the, the terrain is rather complicated, especially in winter, I think this works pretty well and it will see quite a lot of wear. Which brings me to the next and most important point and one of the main reasons I did this video today to talk about the fit. If you remember last time, uh, we talked about how narrow the last, the 2000 last from Passos is, which meant that my, my foot, you know, the widest point of my foot, my smallest toe was getting pushed and folded underneath and it was so narrow and it would be impossible for me to, to, to wear it for you know more than I don't know 30 minutes. So what I did with this one, uh, well, I sized up half as I said before and well there are some good news. So first of all, uh, when I wore this it's uh, it was a bit more difficult to get my foot in. I don't know, maybe it's the the, the way it's it's structured. I had to really open up the lacing. However, you can see on the back like how how it curves. I had a really good feeling, you know, about the how it cups my heel, but also it was pretty not generous. It was snug but not uncomfortable this time on the instep. Um, the good news is that. Uh, at the widest point, it felt pretty good. Uh, it was still a little bit snug, a little bit snugger than I wished, 
But since that, I have been discussing with Passos themselves and they have confirmed that they are adding a little bit of width at the widest point, which is great. And that makes my recommendation much more solid now. And I can tell you that if you have a regular sized foot, that you should definitely size up half on from your UK, regular UK in the 2000 Passos last. Uh, which means that you would take the same size as your Gaziano and Gearling Deco or TG73 and uh, your Antonio Macariello Chisel uh, or Soft Square. Or if you are a US, US size, then you just size down half. And that's it. As far as uh, value proposition is, uh, you know, it's a very complicated word. Uh, this is uh, probably, you know, this is possibly not going to be your first or third or fourth pair of shoes, but if you have uh, your core collection or if you generally wear more casual shoes, then I can definitely re recommend this, like, you know, especially if you're not the suit kind of guy. Uh, as you will see, it's not that difficult to match uh, both with flannel, but also with, it looks really well with, with jeans and certain types of chinos, uh, whether it's more contrasting like beige or uh, something even olive green as well, or khaki. So it's rather versatile. You should not be afraid of uh, dark green colors like this because they are quite muted and they will not make such a contrast, you know, so you look like a Christmas tree. And as you can see, it also looks rather well with uh, navy. So that's great. When it comes to, you know, the build and the value and everything, I've already talked quite a bit about this uh, during my last review, so I don't want to repeat myself, but the suede is, is is really literally very good. I love what they did with the more unstructured uh, shaft, because in many, many Chaka boots, uh, when you wear, you know, they have a more structured shaft, so it's quite stiff in the beginning and it can hurt your ankle, but all this part is, it's, it's very gentle and nice to wear, so that, I wonder why not many more companies do that. I also like that there is no pull tab here. Uh, no problem with pants bunching up. As far as the design, I mean, it's it's a nice regular chaka boot. I'm curious why they chose four eyelets on the front because usually you see two or three. Uh, but I would probably leave it at three for this one. Well, it just it works nice. I uh, have no complaints there. The laces are much better than the ones used on the on the tom. Uh, if the trimming is everything well, it feels like a very solid shoe to wear and hold. And if you're looking for something more handmade and quite, uh, you know, more unique looking in this casual section, then I can I can definitely recommend this. Uh, especially if, for whatever reason, you can find it on clearance or sale. It's a, it's a no-brainer. Great, uh, great color, great quality, great uh, build and construction, and aesthetically, it's it's actually really nice. So that was pretty much it, uh, and it was a little bit of a quicker video and less analysis than usual. But you know, there's no point in repeating myself. I'm going to enjoy wearing these, and uh, I'm I'm quite curious and interested to see what uh, Passos comes up with uh, next. Uh, they've been pushing out some really interesting models uh, of quite high quality items and uh, apparently they seem to be willing to accept feedback and incorporate that into their last and to, into their offerings, you know, with a widening of, of the 2000 last, for example. So I would like to hear your thoughts about this model, about Chaka Boots, uh, I don't know, and what do you think about uh, passes in general? I've, I've been very happy with this particular model. And I would love to hear your opinion. But before that, if you did enjoy the content, please remember to leave a thumbs up, uh, press the notification button and subscribe because I've got a lot more content coming up, all for you. And that's it. And before you go, make sure to stay for the dad joke of the week. So why did Eminem get fired from his job as a bartender? Well, because he kept telling everyone, you only get one shot. <laughs> that is garbage. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.